I actually lost track of time, didn't realize it was that late. Uh, so today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020, and we're going to trade some stocks today. First of all, I am not giving anyone financial advice. I am not telling you to do what I do. Do not follow what I do. What I'm doing is simply putting a video on how I trade in hopes to help someone else out to learn from my errors or find things I'm doing right and then build on that. So, don't follow me. Karen watch list right now. It's up here, right? SCPS, OK, what we at? TKAT, OCG, so on and so forth. VVOS is running this morning up over 180%. SCPS I bought yesterday or two days ago, wherever it was, for five bucks. And that was over $20. It's up uh, over 200%. So, yes. So, currently, we have 50 seconds left to the bell. I am watching SNCA first. It's trading 17 million share. Uh, sorry, it's trading 14 million shares on 17 million share float. So maybe my first option. Uh, and I may buy 300. Let's see. Market open right here. It's been pulling back for the last, well, consolidating for the last hour or so. So we look on left here, you see SCPS is $20. OCG is $17.14. You know what? I didn't add VVOS over there. Let me add it right now. Always update your watch list, right? Because you want to know what's going on. Because stocks move in ways. So today, it may not do well, but tomorrow it, it may do well. Next day after that, who knows? So in the five-day, five-minute chart, we're looking down here. We see the RSI is want, wanting to curve up. Down here, we see in the MACD is during in Burgundy, meaning it's reversing. Now, I don't usually buy stocks this cheap because yesterday it was 80 cents. Today is what way higher than that. So, let me watch a minute. Hold on. I should have bought it right there. I want to buy when it breaks and makes a new high. First candle make a new high. So, I'm going to buy 300 shares. Now, I may buy between 100 and 300 shares in this account depending on uh, the price of the stock. So, look over here. You see LNKCY? I ain't going to trade it. However, I'm going to put it in the group. I don't trade stocks more than four four symbols. So I'm going to hit it here, one, one uh, LKNCY. So LKNCY. You look at it, you want to, it's on you. Let me come off this. Back to SNCA. I don't want to trade this because yesterday it was only 80 cents or 75 cents. Now, you know, when that happens, it pulled back, it's going to be crazy. But it has a 20 cent uh, window right here from the way up. Let's see. I'm watching for four minute. If it crack this uh, point, I'm gonna hop in. We only two minutes to the market opening. I want to make. I want to see one complete candle before I buy in. However, sometimes you gotta do it before that. Look here though. We have eighteen thousand. Phrase that. One hundred eighty thousand shares being being bought right there. Two hundred thirteen thousand shares. They pop it in, pop it out. So be careful with that. We see large numbers on the right here on level two, and it's way bigger than the left. Obviously, selling pressure is higher than the sell than the buy pressure. So once they get out the way, I'm gonna hop in. Right there. It didn't get feel what I wanted it to. So I'm running up right now. I'm in 121. I want you know 12 cents, right? It was only 12 bucks. We phrase that 36 bucks, but hopefully we get more. The high day is 138. Keep an eye on that. The first the first breaking point is right there. Keep an eye on that. Next breaking point is right here. Keep an eye on that. So we break this next point high of day. So I'm going to go over here for a minute and tell you guys, watch this move. SNCA. See, it's fading. It's banging this bottom. Hit that top, right? It hit here. It pulled back, hit there. It pulled back up, hitting there now. Now we need to break through. Double top, right? We break through here. Next stop, high of day. We look in here. We, bur we burgundy. Perfect. Buying pressure. Curving up. Perfect. Sellers disappearing, but look at the buyers coming in. Let me go to my cell phone right quick and get some of this SNCA money on my cell phone. Let's 
See the blow through this point. We be all right. Need test a high of day. That's our, that's our goal right here. Come on, break this 125 and we in there. I'm going to go in the group in a minute and tell you guys, if it break this 125, we in there. I'm watching, trying to watch at least. And on my cell phone at the same time. Now it's fading. It's okay though. Do I have VVOS? I don't. I meant to buy VVOS. So I messed up twice on that. There we go. We need to kind of make a new high. We need to, every kind of make a new high. We need an A, B, C, D pattern to make this thing move pretty well. I'm on my cell phone putting in information in the group, so I'm not going to show it on the screen, but it's in the group, trust me. I put in the group, I said we need SNCA has to break this 125 wall. I see you quick. We watched it for a minute. Try to put stuff in the group so you guys can see it. All right, I'm done with that. Wait, 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 wait. I put N question mark, not uh, not diagon. Dollar sign. SCPS halted on volatility. Yes, sir. I see that quick. All right. Looking at a three, four hundred percent gain on this uh, S and P uh, SCPS, which would be great. We got twenty two dollars right now. The opening looked like it's going to be twenty four. All right, I'm still watching. This wall is getting smaller and smaller. We need to bust through this wall for a real big move upwards. That'd be the the key. Wait, what's this over here? XSPA. That'd be the key move we need right here. Let me go over here for a minute. I'm still watching it. I'm in it, obviously. So, TCAT. TCAT. Watch the move on TCAT. Trying to look at the screen, same time type. I'm over here on my left looking at my stock. And I'm typing the same time, so I can't watch for both of them. I'm going to edit my my symbol right here. Where we at? There we go. We threw it. We threw the wall. Take what it gives you, right? Come on. Keep going. We need 125 to be support. I need 12 cents, right? So I need it to be at least, uh, uh, hold on. All right. One, we got to say 134 because it's almost at 122. So in that case, we need one, 120, one, uh, there we go. 134 or higher. But high day is imminent. Look at that. We're about to turn light green. We want that. It's curving upwards. Almost straight parallel. We want that with that parallel. The, the sellers coming in, but they're getting out. See how they faking this out? They pop in, pop out. See that? We almost there. 
remember I'm trading as well on my cell phone so I'm in both times you want this large green candle right here you want to blow through this previous green and you want to blow through this high of day 130 here we go here we go Now usually I'll put a sell order in a limit, right? And I'll put it right right around the high of day, and then I will move it, adjust it on my axis. But again, on this account here, if I do that here now, you see my whole account information. I want that on, on uh YouTube. We got 20 seconds left in this candle here. We need to be another green candle higher than this one. So basically stair step. A, B, C, D, right? Straight up. Now draw the regression channel here, you can see. With the channel here, I hit it there, right? And I hit it there, you'll see it straight up. I drew that wrong. I need here, I need there. There we go. We're going back in that channel again. Let's watch. There we go. We almost my point I wanted to be at. 129. Change my drawing. To this. And let's watch it. There we go. Hit high of day. We almost there. Here come the green, large green. It was almost there at my point too. I should have got out of it and walk and focus on my large account. Take what the market gives you. Don't forget that. Curving up, light green. Looking good. One on a five minute chart. Here come the here come the buyers. Let's go, let's go. Blow through high of day. Come on now. The channel's right there. Get in that channel again and roll up. Look right here. Profit taken, right? Fake outs as well. Here come the buyers. Watch this move right here. Big buyers coming in. What you can do is also is go to one minute chart and look at it here. Break this point here. See it's banging that point over and over again. One thirty, one thirty one, one thirty two. I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna get out right there, cause I got moves to make on my on my large account, right? We near and high of day, so I sold at one thirty two, right? I got in at one twenty one, so I made uh eleven cents. I wanted twelve cents, but you know sometimes you don't like what it's doing. But look though, the channel is right there. It's hitting that channel over and over again, right? If all that on that channel right there, you got issues. Go back here for me and look. See that? I didn't like what it's doing. It was getting smaller and smaller that channel right there, which is telling me, hop out of it, Joe. It ain't doing what you want to do. When that happens, just hop out of it. Keep on pushing. It's more things to be traded, right? You ain't gotta always hold on to a trade long as you know, long as that. Now I only bought 300 shares, right? But if I would have bought, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to get out of SNA before I lose the money. Hold on. All right. I'm out of SN. 
I'm out of uh, SNCA. I also traded VVOS. I'm out of that. I traded SCPS as well. I'm out of that. So I am green on in my large account, and I'm green also in my small account. T uh, T T L R Y, which is Tilray, which is marijuana base. I traded that this morning pre market, cause I don't put that on the screen because I'm trading uh, my small account, and I also traded DS. Yesterday, I bought it yesterday. Me and Quick bought it yesterday. He holding it long term. I'm not. I'm getting out of it this morning. I did at least. So good looking out, Quick. I made a quick buck on that. Life is good. So right now I'm going to just watch for a minute. I've traded. I'm pretty much done trading. Yeah, I am done trading. I'm done trading in my large account for right now at least. But I might. I may trade it again. Something else. Hell, SPCS is halted again. It's up almost 400%. Now, I put yesterday a 1,000 shares in my Diagon uh, IPO account. So, you do the math. I bought them for 5 bucks. Now, I'm up four times that. So, I'm screenshotting right now my uh, trades, my large account. And I'm going to put in the group in a second. Then I'll point something out to you guys. You got to keep an eye on. Look at that drop right there. See that? I'm going to show you something in a minute right quick. Hold on. That's terrible, right? This is why I don't trade stocks as cheap. Yesterday is only freaking 80, 80 cents, 74 cents. So it's already cheap. Today went up double that, right? Then it just dumped right now. Because it couldn't maintain that volume. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to post in the group right quick. There go one trade. Uh, there go trade two. And there go trade three, four, and five. Now, I'm going to say this again. This SCPS trade I put in the group is not my IPO account. It's my large account that I trade you no know, bigger stocks in. I have seven accounts. Don't forget that. So, here we go. Right here, off the gate, I wanted to wait five minutes for that for that run-up. Let me go to five-minute chart. You see, I sold at 132, almost 133. So, I wanted to make a quick five-minute run-up, right? I wait for coming here to complete itself. But I saw it move up too much. I know it wasn't going to get done with it fast enough. So I hopped in right here. But in the market, though, it pulled back like four or five times, right? It was it was dumping. I didn't buy in yet. I waited till it completed past this previous red candle. Remember? Red to green move. I saw a present candle. I said, okay, cool. We passed it, but it still has a, a, a line. It's faking. It's going up. It's going down. It's going up. It's going down, right? You want to have a full body before you buy that. So what happened was it kept faking up and down. It made a full body right about here. I said, cool, time to hop in it. So 121 up here, the body almost passed. I got in it. And I held it for like a minute for the candle ended. It popped over here. I said, needs to kind of be green, right? It was green. Perfect. It pulled back, ran up some more. I held it. I held it. I held it. And that's kind of was green in the channel, right? It popped up here in the channel. I got out of it. I saw it was fading, getting weak, right? But I I sold my my stock on the the one minute candle, not the five minute candle. Watch the difference. Five minute candle I usually buy in on, but I would sell normally one minute candle because it give me more micro pullbacks. However, I watch to see what the five minute candle is doing first before I sell on the uh, one minute candle. So look here, I hopped in there, right, and I switched over about a minute or so later. I went to the one minute count and looked at it more clearly. And you look here, the channel right here, regression channel, which, which is right here. Drawing tools and this R here, right? You can draw it going up or you can draw it going down. Look at that. And always extend it right or left. So, look at the channel here. 
it's going straight down that channel. Am I right? So when it breaks right here, this channel, like it just did, if it's green like it's supposed to be, it should make it move back up. Remember, red to green move. It's a green candle, we A1. If it's red, it's going to dump immediately back into this channel. Let's watch it for a second. It's one minute chart, of course. It wants to turn green. Let's see. If it turns green, we good. But it should tell you here, though, it has a long way to dump to go on this channel right here. Remember, regression channel. Draw those channels sometimes. If you're new to trading, this is my personal opinion. Draw those channels because it would tell you what it's doing 90% of the time. Well, I'll tell you a little while ago. If it's green, we good. If it's red, it's going to drop right way down here to hit that channel. It can't. It's too far away. You, you need one of these right here in order for it to get right there. See that? Red to green move. Channel's way down here. It can't hit that in a minute. Look at this. Let's kind of make a new high. Channel's gone now. Now watch this. I'm going to get rid of all them channels, right? I'm going to go right back here and pop it right there to here. Looking for uptrend. Stay to the right. Now, technically, we should go straight up, right, in the channel. If it breaks it, we got problems. So, I'm going to go in the group as well and say, uh, draw a regression channel on my bag for space. SNCA. Then I'm going to say, I explain it all today's video. I made 9%. Well, actually, a little more than that, but nine, let's say 9.5, because I like to go to the T. 9.5% in my small account on this same stock. All right, I'm going to go up here and refresh I'm going to go down here into my uh, trades, my large account. Here go my DS trade. Here go my SCPS trade. Here go my SN SNCA trade, my TLRI trade, and VVOS trade. So this trade here is in one account. This trade here is another account. This trade here is in my RA, my Roth RA. Roth RA. One of my trading accounts, day trading accounts, larger day trading account. We we'll phrase that large, large day trading account, medium day trading account. Make sense? All right. Look over here. I drew this line right. What did it do? It broke through the channel, right? So when you see it, get that green. You could probably border here for a quick scalp, but down here it was it wasn't telling you that. It was telling you salvation period, right? So you can say you bought it back here. For run up to let's say here, it's only two cents, which is why I don't like buying cheap stocks. You only get a two cent run up from here to here. It looks big, that's two freaking cents. The next stop here, stock here, started out below the high, which already tells you problems. Then it dumped, broke the channel, and here we are. Straight decline. Draw these channels if you knew. Draw these channels. Previous high. Let's go five minutes. So it should bottom out right here for support. Uh oh. Let me draw this line, y'all. It's going to be live in the video as well in the group. What the heck is going on with this? Oh, wrong channel. Sorry, y'all. I keep messing up. I need this, not that. All right. So we need it to be 107. So I'm going to go up here. And say, if SNCA breaks 107 support, then we may be in trouble.
it's it's why I don't like trading stocks that were less than one dollar in the previous trading section. So you see it on video, you see it live in the group, same thing. I wrote down as well, watch this 107 support point, right? Channel's broken, I can get rid of channel if I want to, but let's see, get rid of this channel. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do everything at one time. Come on now, act right. It don't want to act right, there we go. Uh, I want to remove this drawing, I just... I want to cancel. Here we go. Cancel right extension. I'm going to leave it right like that. Watch this right here. Oh, VVOS is still making a move, I see. I can go over here and watch it live as well. Right here. Same same stock is right. I'm going to put it here. SNCA. Then over here. We're gonna put CNSP. So CNSP needs to break 297. Look over here on the left. CNSP, five million shares traded, 16 million share float. So we're gonna say uh CNSP. Needs to break this 297 resistance. Now, I traded this stock here. And I was out up here somewhere. So I'd have been losing money if I'd have held longer. Don't force trade. Oh, there we go. 291. Let me get on my phone right quick and get ready for the buy. <clears throat> on CNSP. TCAT, TKAT, is not doing nothing right now. Look at SCPS, 36 bucks. My goodness. A 500%. My goodness. Uh, I'm going to put in the group as well. SCPS is parabolic. All right. That shit bought more shares than yes than I bought yesterday. If I if I known this, obviously. Let me I, show you. This is six, right? I would have bought. Let me show you. I bought the mess out if I known that. Let me show you. This is six, right? Yeah, I see it kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. But this one here got a couple damage on better ones. Man, what y'all have known yesterday? You have no. Idea. 50 bucks is to open? What? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me go in the group again. Oh, uh, man. Halted again. And has... A fifty dollar reopening price. Now, how I get fifty bucks? I looked at the ask. Look over here. See SCPS thirty six dollars right now, up five to fourteen percent. The bid is three six three six. The ask is fifty dollars. The question is, what you should ask yourself is. How in the hell a stock halt that many times only trading 2.3 million shares with only a 14 million share float? How does that happen? Glad you asked. I'll tell you. So SCPS. <clears throat> now we know by now a stock must move 10% the price value in one candle for a halt, right? 
Now we going back to look at the original price, which was five bucks yesterday. We can't we can't count today's price. Meaning it'd be three sixty for it to hold, right? Let me go make it smaller. Yesterday's stock I opened up at five dollars some change, right? Eight dollars. It pulled back. I bought it right about here somewhere. I put on video last night with the live with me and uh Carrie and uh we talked about this. I bought it at the low almost today, almost at five thirty or five fifty, somewhere around the area. In my large account. So technically I'm gonna say five bucks. So the stock must only move fifty cent for the hawk. So look back here. It's one candle. We're gonna draw it using a trend line. Hold on a second, y'all. Look over here. SNCA. If it breaks 107, we're in trouble. Right now it's at 106. I told you here. Uh Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go. If S and C A breaks 107 support, then we may be in trouble. This is why I don't like trading stocks that were less than a dollar in a previous trading session, right? What it's doing now? Just broke 107. Back to over here. So from here, which is 20, 2320 down to here, it's two dollars seventy four cent. It halted. Let me go in the group. Let me go in the bigger, bigger picture. Hold on. SCPS. Let's do it over here. So, from, from here, right, to here is 10.2, sorry, 10, 10.12% or $2.32. Harder on volatility, right? From here to here is 17.93% or five bucks. Harder on volatility. Now, it halted somewhere around here, and opened back up, and ran up. From here to here is 10.74% or 354. 10% of the price of the stock is going to halt. You go over here, look at current not current trade halt. You'll see right here, SCPS halted, VVOS halted today. What's this YGMZ? Ah, Chinese stock. Be careful with those. Look this up. VMAR halted, and YGMC. Right, it give you all the halts. So at ten oh one, it should open back up. SCPS. Let's see, 1001, I think it opened back up and harder again, I think. Nope, longer than five minutes. So it's, two, it's a few kind of halts you, you look for. One is five minute, one is 10 minute. The next is 15, it goes like I think 30 hours, some crap. But I care about the five and 10 minute ones. The five minute ones, you can hop in, you know, halt it, get out. After the first halt, you choose second halt. It don't matter. When it's longer than that, people who trade in this stock might get upset and say, "You know what? The market open back up. I'm getting out of it." And they hop out of it and it just dumps. Let's look up this YGMZ though. This is what caught my attention. Now I don't trade Chinese stocks. You know that I hate it. But when they halting like this, you gotta look at it. YGMZ. No news in the halt. See what I'm saying? YGMZ current. Come on now, I'm trying to watch everything at one time. Uh VMAR. Wow. That's crazy. (coughs) 
L I X T. <clears throat> it's crazy. We got a lot of horses this morning. What I'm going to do is, right here is, say, look at the current trade, Hawks. Hawks. Just take a look. All right. I'm going to go back here, go on my bigger accounts, and I'm going to try to make a trade in a couple of these Hawks. And get a couple dollars out of it. So I'm gonna go to the screen in a minute. Try to milk this cow, you know what I mean? You can't find so many stocks on the website. WNW, you can't even find that stock, but it's talking about volatility. HFEN. VVOS. Uh, FA. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. This is a good morning. This is a good morning. I'm trying to get my stuff together on my large account. Get some of this easy money I see popping up. JUPW just halting on volatility. It's a lot of halts, y'all. Stay updating. I know I'm still watching the halt list. Keep an eye on it. You can see that stuff halting in real life. OCG just halted on volatility. Have this page open at all times when you're trading. That way you can go over here and look and see uh, what's trading at that very moment. It give you the quick access. I like trading uh, stock hawks. However, I want to get in either before I see about the hawk. You can look at the volume of a stock and the bar and see how big that bar is and know it's going to halt at this level. I don't have a scanner telling me the levels it's going to halt at. But I know it's going to halt at these levels. Look at that. DUO, halting on volatility. Just popped in right now. That's crazy. I'm going to hop out this page because I don't want to. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Trying to do some stuff. I'm going to go on the other screen so you can see all the stocks that's being halted. And look at the charts. If you're trying to make some money, you got to multitask so i'm talking I'm on my cell phone trying to get some of this free money they're giving out <clears throat> just maybe i can make some money off it you know what i mean
I'm gonna add all these stocks to my uh watch list. This day going SCPS man it's been haunted for a while. All right, I think I can add some some shares now to my uh to my um all right so go over here go to my watch list and type in every stock I saw this whole tip so uh, YGMZ which I don't see. My bad, y'all. Trying to get some money in my large account. Got my hands kind of full here. You know, the bigger money is right there. I'm okay with doing videos. Don't confuse it. But when it's all said and done, my bread is buttered in my larger accounts, not in the small accounts. There's so many stocks halted, I can't keep track of them. Did it halt again? YGMZ? Look at SCPS, man. My goodness. Look at SCPS. My sale order is 45 bucks, isn't it? Hmm. All right. Wow, y'all. Uh, YMGZ, D Duo, J U P W, L I X T, H F E N, O N D S, S C P. Wow, I just sold my S C P S at forty at forty four forty four bucks. This is amazing what has happened. This is crazy, y'all. And it's all on camera too, which is perfect. I just sold my duel as well. Mm. This is wild. Look at this. Check this out though. Look at SCPS. It's at 45 bucks. I just sold it at 44. Wow. I think it just halted again, didn't it? Not quite. It's up 650%. That's in 3 million shares being traded on a 14 million share flow. It halted again on volatility. Here go a problem you have, though. Remember, look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 halts, right? Look over here, the bid. 1071. Look at the ass. 45 bucks. Problem is right here. You're already at the ask almost, right? So when it opens back up again, it's going to dump on you. It's going to be a large red candle. I said a little while ago, I said to you guys that I don't mind trading halted stocks, but I want to be in it before the first halt or right after the first halt. So I technically got in first time back here when it unhalted and it got out right there somewhere. Then I bought again this minute ago. 
at the next before the next halt, which right here, open back up. I hopped out to forty four bucks, and I'm prove it to you by putting it in the group. I'm telling you exactly what I said I was gonna do. So here you go, my SCPS trade that is going to be. Right here, SCPS. I said it's going parabolic. Halted again. Fifty buck reopening. I'm gonna put this right here. Come on, man. Apply. Stupid phone. I got this new phone, and sometimes it don't update the way I want it to. So I have to always like push buttons, cause I don't know what the heck going on with the stupid thing. All right, let me uh restart my phone. It's like a stupid. Let me go back further. How about this? I'm gonna go screenshot a couple more of my trades I I just made while I was quiet that whole time. When I was quiet like that and telling you guys about the hearts. I also said to you guys, I'm trying to find a few I can buy myself. So and I did that. Main one of course was SCPS because of course. I bought some yesterday, the day before that actually, and said, hey, this is stock to buy, right? It's in a group. You should see that as well. Duo, D-U-O. Let me get lower. All right, Duo and S-C-P-S. I kind of want to get in Y-G-M-Z. After this halt right here, uh, VMAR is one that halted as well. I didn't I didn't get in that one. But I did get into, uh, right now, uh, where we at? What's this one I mean right now? Hold on, y'all. Trying to find something right quick. I just hopped in HFEN. Let me put it on the screen right quick. Uh, I'll put it right here. This SNCA, see what it's doing? Nothing. HFEN. I hopped in out the heart for pullback 715 for running 775 is my goal. Let's draw a line. 750 the higher day. If you go through that, my, my sell point is 775. We have 731 right now. I'm moving very slow right now. I don't like that at all. Over here, VMAR just dumped. H F E N. My sell point is seven seventy five. May change that in a minute. All right. Um. Oh yeah. My bad, y'all. This move is so crazy, Dad. My head's everywhere. Let's watch this chart here, though. This is what I'm getting my eye on. Watch this. S C P S. This is the one that got me mind blown. When he come out this heart, watch the pullback. What is this? 50 bucks the target, though. But when it dumps, my goodness. This one and my duo tray right there. Look at the dump. Told you. I guess it gotta happen. There's no way around it. And it's gonna halt on the way down. It'll be problems. You don't want to stop halting on the way down.
You know what? It just halted on the way down. I just said that. And look what happened. Man, I'm glad it's on video. This is crazy. Now, the, the bid and the ask is $21 difference. The $20 is the bid. $41.14 is the ask. I just called it. I just said, it's going to pull back, I said. You want 50 bucks, but it's going to pull back, I said. I said, this halt. It's going to be dangerous. And what did this do? Halt on volatility. On the way down, which is all bad. Trying to get rid of this stuff, man. Why didn't go in the way? This phone is really ticking me off. I'm trying all this new stuff. What is this? Nope. I don't want that either. I'm trying to find my screenshot. Oh, it's there. My duo and my SCPS tray I just put, which is the post. The post, um, I'm everywhere, y'all. Sorry, which is the post hot price, hot sales, and buys. I put down parabolic as well. So, here we go. This hot here on SEPS is going to be dangerous. This hot here. On the way down. SCPS. It's going to ruffle some feathers. This is why when you make trades on parabolic stocks, be careful. It telling you what it's going to do. Look at this. Now, two hearts? Okay. But look. We out the gate. It ran up. Hot on volatility. Right? Came out the gate. Matter of fact, it might hot right there. When it hot? First hot. The first hot this morning was at 9.32. Second one was 9.42. Third one was 10.15. Three hearts, right? So... The first heart out the gate, first candle, 9.32. Second heart was 9.42, it said, right? Right there, somewhere, 9.42. Third heart was 10.15, was right here, actually. Yeah. On the way down. All bad. Or do this. SEPS. It hurt more than three times. It's inaccurate. First heart right here was 930. And then it got out at 940. Second heart was 941. It got out 956, 15 minutes. Third heart was 956. It popped out at 1011. So all 15 minute hearts. The fourth heart was just he saw a minute ago. Which is, well, fifth, four hearts there actually. 1013 out at five minutes later at 1018. And then the fifth heart is right there at 1217. Sorry, 1019. May pop out either 24 or uh, 34, 15 minutes. I'm about to think of something else. But it's going to be deadly. So. I zoomed in on purpose. All right. Here we are. People making money, right? Everybody in the group making money. This is perfect. I'm going down the list. We got to be green, right? This morning, I said, first thing, 7.30 this morning, I said, SCPS, which I just bought two days ago. Right? I put in there TCAT. Eh, didn't do much. OCG, it halted a couple of times. Look over here. Right? Then I said SNCA. The video is on that. As well as me putting in down here key points. Then even trading it right there. Right? Now at that moment, I put here as well. VVOS. 
which also holds on volatility, which is also right there. And then, of course, you got that. We go further down. We see that Facebook be acting crazy, man, with this damn Mac. This Mac and Facebook doesn't work too well. Anyway, I traded a second time. So, everything I'm trading, I'm putting in the group as I'm doing it. Or, I'm also trying to tell you guys that this is what to watch out for right here. This is what to look at, right? Right here. Parabolic, I call that when it's only freaking uh, 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 20 bucks, I think it was at that point. Now it's freaking 40, it was a 45 altogether. High it was 47.86. Right, I called this before that 30 minutes ago, which is way back here somewhere. Well, actually, right here. Right, then you go further down, you'll see that we are still, for some reason, still loading at the bottom, which is crazy. Let me refresh that. All right, L I X T, right? Hot, 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 right. I called that, right? I called all this. But I also said to you guys that, uh, where's it at? I put it there somewhere. I can't find it now. That look at your, your trade hearts. So many stocks halting. I can't find it right now. Here we go. LIXT, current trade heart. Just take a look at the trade heart website. All right? So watch this. We currently right now at we passed five minutes already, so this is a fifteen minute halt. This thing is going, man. Y'all in trouble if you holding this stock, you got hell to pay for that. Look at it. Look at the level two. It won't tell you nothing. So when a stock is halted, don't look at level two. It tells you nothing. You can't see anything. But look down at the very bottom here. Someone selling their shares for one eighty six. Above that, one fifty. Somebody's selling 52 to 25. But people are buying $2.40, 5 bucks, and on and on and on. So what they want to do is try to balance it out. So you might have a buyer here, which is zero. Seller here, which is which is dominant. Go push your price down, right? The candle's red. We pull them back. All bad. This right here is all bad. You never want to hold the stock during a trade halt. On the decline, you don't want to hold it. Hopefully, if you're lucky, on the incline. Try to time it to get out of it before the decline. When it happens, it was up here at forty-seven twenty uh, sixty-nine. It halted six dollars and uh, six seventy-four cents down on that one five in the candle. It just halted. That's seven bucks almost, which is also do the trend line. It is. 6.85% of the total price. Remember, the hearts go by the opening price, not by the current price. Right? Every five, every 10% of that opening price is gonna hold. Open this morning at at almost 10 bucks. Rephrase that. Open this morning back here at 4 a.m. Which was uh right there. Yeah, about 10 bucks. And it halted since that point six six times now. Let's watch it for a minute. OCG is still making a move. Let me go to my charts. Keep an eye on this right here. Far right. Keep an eye on that. Look at DMAR. So I'm doing this. I'm going to say, watch this move here on VMAR. Watch VMAR. High of day is 15 bucks. I'm gonna draw a line right there. Right here. Draw a line at the bottom. Right there. Look at look at uh H F E N. It wanna recover. Okay, let me go back here again and say watching for a high of day. For a new high of day. Right? Let's see what happens over here. Top. Look at here for the for the, for the drop when it come out the heart. Look at YGMZ. Out the heart, 
It just punished everybody who held it. F A H F E N. Watch what's watch the recovery. All right, here go YGMZ, which is trashing. We want a new high over here on a on VMAR. I'm not in anything right now. I'm just watching and making commentary. Um, uh, OCG. I'm gonna put OCG. Uh, nowhere, nowhere to put it at. <laughs> OCG is still doing something. My main concern is right here. Watching this dump. Cause I own it long term, so I don't want to dump, right? <laughs> I want to keep on going up and up and up. I don't want to lose profits. I can probably sell now. Take all kind of profits. I'm up thirty percent in my account today because of F because of what my account I have it in. My IPO account is up thirty percent today because one stock, SCPS, is the main reason why. We're looking right now, we're looking right now. My portfolio. Oh yeah. There we go. Let me see. SPCS. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep an eye right here on SCPS. Three million shares traded. Check, check, check. Today return is for me is five hundred and ninety four percent. It's my return, which the same thing it says over here on the screen on SCPS. I just put in the order right now to take profit on SCPS in my IPO account. I should have put it in a little earlier, but I wasn't thinking about that then. But I am right now. Also, I think I may take profit somewhere else. Let me see. I may take profit on. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. I'm still here. Where's my most influential stock at? I guess that's the biggest one, influential wise. My IPO account is SCPS. So, uh, fun fact: Robinhood. Say you want to buy some cryptocurrency. Robinhood may have like the Bitcoins, the the Litecoin, maybe the Ripple, maybe I don't know. Just because you see it in that uh, Robinhood account, don't mean you buying actual Bitcoin. Or Litecoin or Ripple, Robinhood does this. It buys uh, their portion of that Bitcoin or that Litecoin or Ripple, and you buying it at the price they they end up buying it at, which may be ten minutes down the line, way lower than what you saw at that very moment. So my my reason for Robinhood would be to buy something there to hold over long periods of time, not to day trade with not to uh, buy that current price right now. So I'll put an order in, if it was me, if I want to buy a certain price, a limit order to buy it in. You follow? I wouldn't put it in at the market order to buy because the price is going to change. Limit order will execute when you put it in. Say you put a limit order in an hour prior to that point or a day before, it's okay. But that same day, you would not get it the price you wanted at. And you saying, oh, I bought it at this price. You thought you did. What happened was they bought it at the price that they were able to buy it at whenever they got it sold. But it's actually you buying Bitcoin through them, not actual Bitcoin. You buying their version of Bitcoin. Keep an eye on that. This is a fun fact. So don't even think about day trading Robinhood. You're going to lose all kinds of profits. It's not for day trading. It's for long term.
It's a buying stock and holding it for a few months, a day or two, whatever it may be, right? Don't day trade Robinhood. It's impossible. But if people say, well, Robinhood is a free app. Well, now, so is TD Ameritrade, so is Charles Schwab, so is E-Trade. They're all free now, right? So what's the point? Robinhood is easy to look at. You might can do some contracts on there, but so is other websites. We're looking at right now is Thinkorswim. To me, the best platform to look at today trade or long-term trade. Robinhood don't offer that. Plus the hours. You got 9 a.m. to, uh, what, 6 p.m.? You missing two hours in the morning. You missing two hours at night. Why not just go trade on Webull in that case? Webull is better than Robinhood. Hey, what do I know? Moving right along. So the video now is uh, over an hour. I usually make videos for 30 minutes. But I want to tell you, I want to show you guys what SEPS is going to do right this day going hard. So I'm going to hold off a minute until it comes out that hard and show you what happens. Look over here. $20 bid, $41 ass. We're trading 3 million shares though on a 14 million share. What is this? 14 million share stock, share float stock. I saw something I want to look at. Hold on, y'all. That's wild, man. That's wild. That's wild. I'm looking at something on my phone. A couple minutes more, I end the video. As soon as it comes out this heart, I'm going to end the video and I post it. You see everything I'm saying live in the group, so you ain't gonna guess nothing. You'll see it. So we are right now currently at. How long is this hot right now? It halted at ten nineteen. So we're looking at thirty four for the hot ends. Well, it's past that now. Look, it's already past 34. Uh-oh. So it looks to me that it just may be an investigation going on, which is why I hold on volatility. When it's only 15 minutes, something going on. Keep an eye up here, though, top right. I said watch for the new high of day. Let's see what happens. Next next mark thirty minute hold should be uh ten forty nine before the halt ends on this bottom right stock SCPS. Here go my trade. I made one just on L I X T. I post that as well. I forgot to post that earlier. Did I even say it on camera? I don't even know. And look up top right, y'all. Look what just happened. Like that. And look at this. Watch the move here on VMAR. Watching for a new high day. Eight minutes ago. There it is, 1520, new high of day. All right, and go to comic session. V more, V more, V more. Reply to this and Actually, it's the wrong thing. It's hard. It's way too long, y'all. Look at this crap. It's still hard to. It's going to be bad. It's going to be all bad. It's 
it's gonna be all bad, y'all. For real, for real. But I'm gonna get back in one second, trying to get get uh this stock sold in uh my IPO account. So my head's a little everywhere right now. Let me see. I think uh, YGMZ halted again as well. Look at that. Bottom right. It dumped 30 bucks. From 41 bucks to 30 bucks and it's still dumping. I told you, watch this halt. And look right here. I said also here that not dust. To be this hot here on the way down STPS is going to ruffle some feathers. Let me change my thus into this. I shouldn't have been thus. I'll be doing so much stuff at one time. That's what happens. But I told you, you know thus meant to be this, right? <laughs> Look over here. It's done. I sold too, hopefully. With that being said, uh, one trade away.